Welcome to the 64th video in our series about Unix tools. Consider a fixed width file that has records as shown. The boss has told you he doesn't want the age and the phone number needs to come first. For a comma separated values file, we know what to do. We saw that in an earlier video and we used awk. What about this file? Let's assume you don't want to write an awk or a Python or a C program. You just need an answer quickly. Does Unix have tools for this? Of course it does. We'll use the Unix cut and paste programs. We used cut before but with a delimiter when we looked at CSV files. This file has no delimiters. Those are things like commas or tabs or colons that mark the position uh, between fields. And we learned cut can get multiple fields, but it always leaves them in the same order they were in the original file, which is why we used awk to move them around. Uh, well, cut can cut based on column positions using a minus C option. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a file for each column we want, running cut multiple times. Then we're going to use a program we haven't looked at before called paste to join those separate files, one with each column, into the final file that has the columns we want in the order we want. We We'll need to know what columns you care about, which you can learn using VI if you turn on set ruler, or you could use nano, several choices. I'm gonna turn on set ruler, and you can see that's column one, and it ends on column 30. And then the second field starts on 31, and ends on column 40. The third field starts on 41 and ends on 48. I use set ruler. You could see it in nano. Somehow you have to know. I'm going to turn off the ruler now. We don't need it. So I've made a chart here explaining what we learned Okay, at the bottom, I've shown you step-by-step step the commands we need to run. You can use cut with minus C, and then you tell it where to start and a minus and where to stop with one based character columns. Now, if you're used to C, C++, Python, Java, everything starts on zero, but for this tool, column one is one. So... What does this command do? It says, hey, I want the characters in columns 1 through 30. This is character based. It's going to work on ASCII. If you try to process UTF, uh, I don't know what will happen. Something bad. If it's, you know, Chinese or something. But for English, it's going to work great. And then where do we get the data from? Infile.dat you know cut is going to send the output to the screen so we use the shell redirection the greater than to store it in name.dat and we do the same thing again for age but we ask for 31 through 40 and then we do it a third time for 41 to 48 to get the phone number and if, if you had a million rows, this might take a little while, but, you know, you run these things, <clears throat> one on each core, shouldn't be too bad. That's why we have multi-core machines. But for quick and dirty, this is going to work well. Every Unix machine has cut. It has to. POSIX says so. And it's going to do this. So we've got... When we're done with that, we've got three files. One file name.dat that has a name on each line. And then we've got age.dat and it has an age on each line. And we've got phone number.dat with a, 
the phone number on each line. And then we need to figure out what we want to do. And we say, I don't need the age, right? I don't need the age. So we can just delete that, right? That's what we need. We don't even need to, to get the age. So we really only have two cuts, the name and the phone number. Can cut have C1 through 30 and 41 through 48? It can, but it's going to keep it in that order. And we want to swap the order, so we can't do that. One field for one file is simple, and it's what we want. After we've done the two cuts to generate two files, then we need to put it back together. And paste with a minus D. Now, you might think that's going to work. That might work with the GNU tools, but POSIX says if you don't want a separator, you have to use backslash zero. I don't know why, that's just the rules. So, the safe thing to do is use the POSIX rules. And then you give the file names in the order that you want the columns to be in the result. So this, this is going to be the phone number and then the name. And how it works is, paste opens up those two files, or however many, you can list three or four, however many files you want. But it'll go to the first file and get the first line, and then the next file and get the first line, the next file and get the first line. It'll get the first line from every one of those files. It'll concatenate them together in the order you listed the file names. And it'll use the delimiter you, you ask for. By default, it's a tab. You could put a comma in there, but that would be silly since we want a fixed width file result. And here, we use this explicit magic to say, I don't want a delimiter. And then it goes to the screen. So we use the greater than, like we did up here. We use the, the greater than symbol, and we put it in result.dat. And finally, when we're done, we didn't we didn't do the age so we can get rid of that we need to delete the temporary files we probably want to keep the original input file in case the boss changes his or her mind again that's what we need to do let's save this <clears throat> and let's do it do i have the input file I do, and it looks exactly like it did because I cut, I saved it from the file. So let's run the commands that we need. And if we clear the screen, uh, we can look at the end file and then we can do a tail on our video64.txt and we get the commands we need. So cut minus C one through 30 in file dot dat, put it in the name dot that and then we want columns 41 through 48 from in file dot that we want to put those in phone number dot that and then we need to put it all together so we paste and because we don't want any delimiter we have to use this backslash zero and then what do we want first we want the phone number and then we want the name and then we have to put the answer somewhere. So we're going to put that in result.dat. And if we cat result.dat, you see we got exactly what we wanted. Double check, make sure the data is right. First one should be John Smith with 555-1212. Correct. The next one should be Samantha Jones with this phone number. And yes, that's correct. And then the last one is Alex with this phone number and you can see it worked and you might say did it put the null byte in the file because if we printed a null you know how would we know if you're not sure and you don't trust your computer you can always use that hex dump to look at result.dat and so you look and you see 555 Minus one two one two and there's a fifty three which is uppercase S and you say 
How did you know 53 is uppercase S? You need to use an ASCII chart. <clears throat> the system I'm running on now is pretty primitive, but on most systems you can do this and it will give you the ASCII chart. This system won't because it has no optional software except for the VIM that I installed. I couldn't live without that. So we solved our problem. Let's go back and look at the solution again one more time. I've explained it in words, but basically uh, for each column that you do want in the fixed width file, you need to know the columns information. You need to build a chart like this when you start. And then you can cut each column into a file name. When you're all done with that, you paste with this magic backslash zero that says, I don't want a delimiter. Give the file names of the column data in the order you want it to be and redirect that to your result file and then you're done. Don't forget to clean up your temporary files which I did not do. <laughs> Bad job. So we can get rid of name.dat and phone number.dat. And we're done. So not only did we have a video that didn't teach you VI, <laughs> we taught you something useful. Those fixed width style files are easy to program with, easy to use, they're fast to read and write. So some software still uses that format. You know, if you use JSON or CSV, getting the data in and out of the file takes more CPU time. And it also doesn't work well with random file access. So you will see fixed width files and now you have learned how to change the order of the columns and remove a column. Of course, you could have a new file of data and add a column. Unix has a tool for almost everything. You just have to learn them. So come back next time and we'll do something different. And I, it still won't be VI. Don't panic. And thank you for listening.